Greetings, YouTube. This is Sixus. And I'm EV Septile. Hello. And welcome back to Custom Corn Spotlight. All right. Here we go. Ah! White Knight. Okay. Okay. Starting off with a skull servant. I like it. All right. Link arrow. That's link one. One down. Zero attack. Uh, one level three, a lower zombie monster. Being specific. Okay. This card's name. Oh, that's not really that specific. This card's name becomes Skull Servant while it's in the graveyard. This card gains 300 attack for each Skull Servant in your grave. This card gains effects based on the number of Skull Servants in your grave as well. If this card uh, would be destroyed by Battle of Card Effect, you can banish a Skull Servant from your grave instead. Um, four. Oh, that's just one plus, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, that was one. Yeah. Four plus. You can reveal three monsters that list Skull Servant in its text from your deck. Your opponent randomly picks one, add to your hand, then shuffle the rest into your... Dang it! I was hoping to say send the rest to the grave. <laughs> no, that would be a bit much. Well, I mean, you already got four at that point. <laughs> yeah. All right, so add the one to your hand, then shuffle the rest back into the deck. You can only use this effect once per turn, uh, but not the first one. Interesting. Seven plus, if a zombie monster you control inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can return one banished level three or lower zombie monster in your grave. Uh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. And then, um, it's it's kind of restricted to the battle. Anyway, but then 10 or more zomb zombie monsters this card points to are unaffected by your opponent's card effects. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I would want a unbeatable king of the score of servants. Yeah, and, and anytime this thing would be destroyed, you could just, like, by battle or card effect, or just by battle. Will be destroyed by yes a anything yes. yes. Then you just pass one back, and then if you deal damage, you get to put that one by white back in the graveyard. Ooh, I see the combo one. though. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. I love and, the artwork, by the way. Fantastic artwork. I yeah. Love it. And yeah, if you just keep sending uh, the white prince to the grave, it would just keep setting it up. Because uh, that one sends a score servant specifically and a lady in white. Been a while since I looked mm -hmm. at the. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's score servant and lady in white. Yep. Yeah, so that just keeps going, and this one actually adds more consistency because you get to choose three from your deck if you have four more in your grave, and your mm -hmm. opponent randomly picks one. Which is definitely not hard to do. I mean, yeah. the ideal situation for this I can see is you summon princess. You send uh, the prince to the grave, then you send the, the, the skull servant and the uh, lady in white to the grave. Now you've got three. Use the princess as your material, bring out white knight, then activate the four plus effect where you add king of the skull servants or whatever you want from your deck to your hand, and then shuffle the rest back. So that's pretty good. Um, and considering all the zombie support that can, you know, like Mizuki banish itself from the grave to bring out a zombie from the grave, such as king. Uh, there's there's a lot of potential with that. <laughs> I think this card's great. Please, Konami, make it exactly can, like this. You Never can know. see why I told you to take this one. Oh, yes, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take the next one. Fisherman um, Umeniki. Umeniku? And yeah, obviously, a reference to Umi. Right, so right. This yeah, is, and also, yeah, Lesney Fisherman. Without his fish yeah without the sock well whatever he's using at this point when this card is normal special you can activate one umi field spell directly from your deck at the start of the down step if this card battles a water monster take a of that monster hey it gets its fist back <laughs> you can send this card and one other fist sea serpent monster you control oh or from your hand or field to the graveyard, and then special on one water or fisherman monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. I like it because I've tried making a legendary fisherman deck before, and this would definitely help. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Especially because there is a good amount of uh, water monsters, it's uh, fish or sea serpent, yeah, fish or sea serpent monsters, that y it isn't too difficult to get on the field. All right. Oh, it is interesting that that's earth and not water. Well, that's the that's so you don't just turn it into itself. Right. Especially as a water fisherman. 
So I, guess I can he's on land. Yeah, I can understand the purpose of that. All right, the solid damage step. If this corn bear is a water monster, I'd take a of it. You know, all this tells me is use fishmen with gamma seals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I see you made a monster. He'll have a turtle. I attack. Give me back my turtle. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much how it would go. Anyway, next one. All right. Hey, remember so what you said last time about trying to find Dark Scorpion? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I found him. Forces with the Lure Queen. No. <laughs> All right. Oh, birth the, of the Brutal. The person commented that they, yes, we used, um, Odor Card Art. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Would you want to I make want... new artwork for no. Dark Scorpion? <laughs> I don't blame them. All Dark Scorpion monsters in... Dong Saloon. You control gained five for an attack. You can activate one Dark Scorpion trap card in the turn it was set. You can only use this effect of Dark Scorpion Birth of the Brutal once per turn. You can tribute one Dark Scorpion monster. You control special summon one Dark Scorpion or Don Saluk monster from your deck. <laughs> you can only use this effect of Bertha once per turn. If this card inflicts damage to your opponent by battle, you can activate one of the one of the following effects. Banish one random card from your opponent's hand. Destroy one card your opponent trolls. Hmm. Let's look at the Dark Scorpion trap. <laughs> There's two of them. Is that oh, no, never mind. That's Dark Scheme. Mustering or combination? Uh, oh, is it spell or trap or is it trap? No, it just says trap for the pen. I, I don't even know which one's a trap. You think yeah, I look okay. at the Dark it's Scorpion cords? Huh? You think I look at the Dark Scorpion cords? I don't think anyone does. <laughs> Except for this guy, I guess. Okay, so Dark Scorpion Combination is the, is the trap card. You can only activate this card if, if there are one of each Dark Scorpion, the originals, on the field. During this turn, any any of these five cards can attack your opponent's life points directly. In that case, the battle damage inflicted to your opponent by each of these cards becomes 400. <laughs> you know, the stat <laughs> boost means nothing in that case. No! It doesn't even help. Hmm. Uh, negative. <laughs> Bomb. Next. <laughs> well, it is a pendulum, so you know what's next. Oh, the gosh, other pendulum. Dang it. Oh, gosh. So dang the pendulum was a scale two. This one's a scale six. I guess it makes Seth sense. Seth the Swift. Hey, at least it makes them easier to summon, particularly the level five. When yeah. a dark, dark scorpion monster or. That's your cue. Don Saluk. <laughs> Battles and opponent's monster, your opponent uh, may not activate cards or effects. Oh, they may not. That's different wording. <laughs> they may uh, not. <laughs> they may <laughs> not. They might. <laughs> you can, but you may not. <laughs> okay. It's commanding. <laughs> Until the end of the damage step. Oh, great. So another ancient gives when they're fighting a monster. That, that, that would be good, Which, I guess. Means nothing because the monster because that trap card has them attack directly. Uh, you can, <laughs> yeah, no, you can uh, you can destroy this card and one other dark scorpion card you control. Draw two cards. You can only use this effect of dark scorpion set the swift once per turn. Well, dang, that instantly became a draw engine. I'm gonna start running dark scorpion <laughs> no. uh, exodia. Good luck with that. <laughs> anyway, if. This card inflicts battle damage to your opponent. You can activate one of these cards. Drawing card, or banish two cards from your opponent's graveyard. Well, I can see this one's focused on drawing. Absolutely. An, an excellent piece of the Exodia deck archetype. <laughs> Five out of ten. Well, we've said too much about that away. Next. <laughs> the Agent of Discord. The voice connection we're using right now. Neptune. If you control a face up, the agent monster. That was always an awkward name. The oh, agent. The that, agent. Yeah, that's just that's just. I kind I of can annoying. understand it because it makes it so they can still have cards with the name agent in them, like yeah. spiral, secret agent, or super yeah. agent, whatever the name is. Yeah. It's, it's I like how it is for future proofing. Yeah, if you control, which is more than like you could say for roids. If you control yes. a face of agent monster, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, it's treated as a tuner. Okay. 
It's level four. Nice. You can target one of your banished fairy monsters. Add that target to your hand. And if you do, if the sanctuary in disguise on the field, you can add up to two fairy monsters instead. Uh, you can only use each effect of this once per turn. 1900 attack, level four dark fairy. Interesting. Yeah, here's something I always found weird. The agents are based off the planets, but they didn't have mm -hmm. a Neptune. That is kind of strange. I wonder if they have had like an anime card. Well, or were they, they not the using anime? the anime? I, I don't, I don't know. So. Their artwork kind of looks old, so it makes me think they're from the anime. Or that they were just old gods. Oh, well, that's also true, but I mean, you know. Wouldn't you say uh, the same thing about Battery Men or Glyo Beast at this point? Because they were old gods. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> But this thing, this thing seems pretty, pretty good. It's just uh, you, you summon the Earth. You special summon this. You can special summon the level five. Um, so it, it seems like it's focusing a lot more on uh, field swarming, which would be good if they ever got a link. And even if they don't, it allows them to. Uh, oh yeah, I'm just going to tell ways. you the agents is the rest of this video. Oh, okay. So Next there probably up, is a link coming up. Welcome to Pluto, agent of solitude. Blue's not playing it. Really. That's why he's in solitude. He got kicked out. <laughs> I got. He got. He got picked on. So this is a level one. Oh, hey, good because it went for one and all that kind of good stuff. Mm -hmm. If this card is normal or spell summoned, you can immediately after this card resolves, synchro summon one synchro monster, using only fairy monsters you control. If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one fairy monster from your hand. Quick effect. And if you do, spell summon this card. But banish it if it leaves the field. You can hmm. only use this effect once per turn. Interesting. So it seems like it seems like it would be a really good. Um, it seems like it would be like a kind of a spore or glow up bulb type card. Yeah, because it's if it's in the graveyard, you can bring it back, and if you bring it back, and it's a quick effect, so you can do it on your opponent's turn. You can quick play synchro summon because of the first effect. Right. Right. It seems it. It seems like it, it. I mean, like besides the fairy stuff, it, it it seems like it's a little. It doesn't really fit with the archetype too much because they, you know, they haven't had a synchro up until this point, I guess, because there probably uh, will be one. Wait. Yeah, there probably will be one. I'm imagining. Um, I like the card. I think it's definitely a good card for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and even if you, even if they didn't have one, there's tons of synchros that this can go into, uh, using the monster since they're so ranged in level and if i'm correct level four that, that i was just talking about um that says you can treat it yeah you can treat it so it can be a non-tuner and then this um oh wait, 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 it's not tuner oh it's not a tuner so okay yeah so you would use neptune or the level five as the tuners and then go with this yep huh okay interesting so next up all right, I got this one. <laughs> Radiant Shine Ball. Level 2. Light Fairy. This card's name is always treated as Mystical Shine Ball. Oh, gosh, that means I can't run three of the vanilla and three of this. Oh, no. No, that's a buff. I promise you. Yes. <laughs> this card is summoned. You can treat it as a tuner. Interesting. That's awesome. Otherwise, this card is treated as a normal monster while face up on the field. Also awesome. <laughs> Unless the Sanctuary and Sky is on the field... Uh, you can only use this effect once per turn. So it's treated whoa, whoa. as a normal monster unless it unless Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field. Interesting um, wording. Bad well, no, no, okay, actually, that. actually, wait, 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 wait. I think it's saying, I think it's saying unless Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field, you can only use this effect once per turn. Because it has like a comma after field, I think. Oh, yeah, it does. But then it's a capital Y for you. Yeah, that might be a typo. I'm not sure. the The U might be a typo, or the or the the comma might be a typo. But either way, you would probably only use one of them as a tuner, regardless. Yeah, and also because the I don't think the normal monster is actually all that all that important to it. It depends on links, I guess. The of, important of thing is just the fact that you can pay 500 life points with Venus and still yep. bring it out. Because it's always treated as it, including in the deck. Yep, so you get... I, actually, I think that is kind of important. Because there are some Link monsters that say four effect monsters. And that would be kind of... That would be kind of cheap if you could just do that with one card. You know? Yeah. You know? 
I see that. I understand that. I, I get that. Um, but the thing is, that's so good about this is that it's just it's it's a shine ball, but better, uh, and it, it can be a tuner. So if you start off with your level three, uh, Venus, you pay fifteen hundred, you get three of these on the board. One of them's a tuner. Now you can go into five, a six, a four. Um, uh, you can go into a seven, yeah, and then a nine. Yeah, here, <laughs> There's so much I, you can go into. Here's something I like about these, uh, like with. Uh... This one and Neptune, the fact that you get to choose, which I think has a much more, a lot more um, flexibility to how it works. I just realized you could one card Trishula with Venus. Oh, that's interesting. Oh my! <laughs> Though I think I, I think we're about to see a link. I'm imagining of oh, them. Which uh, no, I'm gonna uh, bring it with this is that because uh, Lost Sanctuary was the agent structure deck, and we've been getting a lot of structure deck ors. I would love to see a remaster truck track of uh, Lost Sanctuary. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, so next up, Hyperion, the Agent of Origin Sun. Ooh. You made the original Hyperion, right? Yeah, I remember that. It could uh, banish... Oh, if if Sky, Sanctuary and Sky was on the field, you could banish two fairies from your grave to destroy a card on the field. Yep. Do it twice per turn? Yep. So this one is a nine. Yes. Takes one Fey Tunnel and one or more non uh no yeah, non tunnel monsters. Oh and they are putting S D thirteen on that for I guess they would think of it as a remaster structure deck. Anyway, oh. if this card is synchro summoned, you can target one of your best the agent monsters, special in it in face of attack position. Once per turn, quick effect, you can banish one fairy monster from your graveyard, then target one card in the field, send that to the graveyard. Improvement Ooh. from yes destroying. Yeah. And sure. if Sanctuary in the sky is on the field, you can use this effect up to twice per turn. Straight upgrade. Perfect. Perfect, yep. It's I would say it's I w I wouldn't say it's easier to get out because you just had to banish one I think it's just one fairy to summon Hyperion, the yeah. original. But this is still very easy to get out. Uh, well it's one, level nine. You had to banish one of the agent to bring it up. Yeah, this is another. Right, right, and, and and as I was saying, with the Venus and the new shine ball, yeah. you could just make uh, one card Trishula. And the bite uh, side with is... that, and this can also be made just the same way. And the bite side is, oh yeah, it is a quick pick. So there is a benefit to something on your palm stone, because like with uh, Pluto, that one bounces one to bring itself out. So, in combination, you'll be able to just bring back that one that you just banished due to the effect of Hyperion. Hmm. Are all these made by the same person? Yes. Uh, let me check the name. Kalandat. 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 Okay. Sorry that. I don't know how to pronounce the names of these people. <laughs> Understandable. All right. Now, so, um. Next. Yep. So this is the oh the second last one okay oh here's the link okay yep link three wow this thing looks this thing looks crazy I know it's got the this entire is... planetary system hey look there's Saturn oh it's awesome know. yeah and then Pluto's just at the top I think oh yeah <laughs> the it little, is <laughs> little one hey guys just chilling <laughs> okay so Thea the I think I'm saying that right the the agent of the cosmos well that just makes too much sense it could have been Milky Way though just saying hmm. anyway light fairy. <laughs> Link three, twenty seven hundred attacks. That's that's pretty good for Link three. Two plus fairy monsters, easy. Once per turn, you can spell someone one agent monster from your hand or graveyard to the zone this card points to. Easy. You use <laughs> the mist of shine balls. You bring this out. You revive one of them. You still got a shine ball on the board. You bring out um, well, not, it wouldn't be a shine ball, but you bring out Venus. And then you, <laughs> that's that's so good. Okay. And then uh, the agent monsters this card points to cannot be destroyed by card effects. Oh. This is this is too good. Your opponent's monster cannot activate their effects during the battle phase. Oh my lord! This card battles an opponent's monster after damage calc. Banish the opponent's monster. While the sanctuary in the sky is on the field, you do not banish cards to activate Hyperion's effects. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not made by Konami. <laughs> that would be I good. I love this. That is so good. That is actually crazy. Yeah, that I just is... make agents insane. I'm in favor of that. I'm a, I'm in favor of it. That's pretty good. I like that. Let's face it. How often do you see agents? 
Not very often, but no. that that is that is crazy. That is absolutely wild. I and love that. And now for the last one, Celestial Citadel of the Heavens, Fieldsville. <laughs> this card is is also always treated as the Sanctuary in the Sky. Yes. When this card is activated, you can add one the agent monster from your deck to your hand. It's already better than the original. <laughs> yes. You can normal summon one the agent monster in addition to your normal summon set, which is good because I'm pretty sure Earth only works if normal summoned. Yeah. And of course, you can only gain this normal summon once per turn. You take no barrier damage from attacks involving a fairy monster. Great. It's a straight up great. <laughs> <laughs> they just, he's just like, you know what? I'll throw that in too. <laughs> and Some of my shine balls in attack position. What now, boy? <laughs> you can only activate one of this per turn. Yeah, that's... It's, it's just so good. Now, I will admit, though, I will admit, though, being able to be limited to one of those, if your opponent just quick play, like, Twin Twisters, it, then your turn is going to suffer a little bit. But still, agents can do whatever they want to without their... The sanctuary they're just in they're just amplified with the sanctuary um but yeah it, it, that's 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 a crazy good upgrade Th just looking at these cards especially the link and the new shine ball if just those two cards were printed mm -hmm. it would be great yes <laughs> if just, just those two were printed it'd be great um uh, i am a fan actually, of the deck six. one two three say what yeah, it's six of them yep Pretty good for your six cards. And yeah, I would definitely love to see something actually be done by Konami themselves, but particularly, like I said, in a revamped structure deck. Mm-hmm. Express given sure. that we need a Neptune. You kind even of... Like without the, even without the structure deck, I mean, they could have... This looks like they could have done, like, the five-card update that oh, yeah, they normally they... try and do. Plus, oh, yeah. like, a Link Brains thing with the, the, the Link Monster. Yeah, we but remember, obviously, we just had three. We remember um, Samorg. That was originally a Stark Strike, but they just gave it support and a regular set. Yes, and it's great. I love it. Hey, and they got a Link 3 that has the same errors as this one. Hmm. So, Could yeah, surprisingly fitting. So, I can definitely see them doing... Some, not this exactly, because uh, this would be a bit powerful, but then again... If it means that these can actually do something for... Yeah, please. <laughs> Just oh, do right. it. One thing I always found weird is that that's one of the five Ds that were Huh. And yet, they didn't actually have a synchro of their own. As in, it said five tuners. Ds on it. They had tuners, but they didn't have... Um, yeah. And also, synchros. on the Sojo deck, the Dragoon T Structure deck didn't have any of the synchros in the deck. Oh my god! Which is weird for one that says five Ds on the cover. But anyway, getting straight to this, uh, which one would you say is your most favorite, and which one would you say is your least favorite from this video? All right. So I guess I'll separate it. Um, my favorite, I think, definitely has to be that Shine Ball remake. Okay. I think that just changes the entire game for for that deck. Um, it makes just one card. Trishula, and that's just crazy. And I'm but guessing one as... of your least favorites is gonna be one of the two dark scorpions. Both of them. I I equally hate them both. I can understand <laughs> but, that. But if I were to pick a favorite on this entire list, just one to have, White Knight. Absolutely. Of course, yeah. It is. It is amazing. It's great. <laughs> What's your favorite? Uh, I would say Celestial Citadel. I love that as a straight upgrade. Also, uh -huh. I'm a fan of. Any field spell that, upon activation, sorts out a given card. Like, right. even Hangle. Yeah. Definitely. And, yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you with uh, Bertha, specifically. Bertha the Brutal. The Brutal. Just due to how... It just helps you with that one trap card, and it makes and because it makes the attack set to a specific amount, the five hundred attack boost means nothing. Yeah, it, it's there's no hope for that. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, that's over this time. Thanks for watching.